Hello friends, this video on Electrochemistry Part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. This is reduction potential, this is reduction, right? So we have N but anode oxidation is happening. So instead of reduction, let me take oxidation potential only. To make things easy. If I am taking oxidation potential, I'll add the negative sign in both cases. Correct. So for oxidation to happen, the first reaction for chlorine to get oxidized to chlorine gas. I need 1.36 volt of energy. Correct. For water to get oxidized to oxygen gas, I need 1.23 volt of energy. So to again to oxidize water, I need 1.23 volt of energy, and to oxidize chlorine to chlorine gas, I need 1.36 volt of energy. Looks like water will win, but here is the catch: we have over potential coming here. I told you for water to oxidize water it takes more than 1.8 volt minimum so this 1.23 is actually 1.8 volt because of our potential now let's compare now if you compare to oxidize water you need 1.8 volt to oxidize chlorine you need 1.36 volt which will win obviously chlorine so chlorine gas will come here this is a tricky question please understand See, at cathode, this is pretty easy, right? I had this uh, for sodium reduction, 2.7 volt, water reduction, 0.8 volt. Obviously, water reduction will win. At anode, there was the issue. At anode, we have over potential also there. Please note, over potential is generally the anode. Over potential of water we have seen is 1.8 volt, right? Without applying over potential, it looks like the competition between chlorine and water, chlorine, uh, water will win to get oxidized. But the moment you apply over potential concept, you'll see that water needs 1.8 volt to oxidize. Chlorine needs only 1.36 volt to oxidize. Thus, chlorine will win and chlorine will get oxidized to chlorine gas. Let's see with the sulfuric acid. It's aqueous sulfuric acid. It is not mentioned. It is dilute or concentrated. It is not mentioned. So we'll see for the both scenarios. Correct. Sulfuric acid, if you see, I have H2SO4 that will break into H plus and SO4 to minus ions. Correct. So this is my anode, this is my cathode, cathode will have a lot of electrons and cathode will have reduction happening. So I have cathode and I have anode. First let's see cathode. So cathode I have reduction. So what are the potential candidates for reduction? So I have H plus can reduce. So H plus is one candidate for reduction and water is one candidate for reduction. Both are same actually, right? I'm saying H plus is getting reduced or water, both are same. In both places you'll get hydrogen gas, right? H plus will give you hydrogen gas. And H2O also, if you see reduce this H2O, if you reduce this, it will take electrons. This will get take one electron and this will become hydrogen gas and 2OH minus. So that means in both cases the only possibility of gas coming out from here is hydrogen gas. Done. No issue. Let's talk about anode. In anode they are candidate for oxidation is either SO4 to minus ion or I have water. Let's see the reaction. I'll see the oxidation reaction reaction at anode both possibility we'll see let's see for water i have the water i'll oxidize it it will become oxygen and it will give me some h plus and four electrons it will be two to balance yeah and for this the e will be 1.23 volt and let's another case is so4 to minus it, it becomes s2 O8 2 minus and gives 2 electron and this E is 1.96 volt. Now you see there is a almost tie, but now there is an anode and there is water, oxidation of water, it will not be 1.23 volt, it will be 1.8 volt. Correct? Please note, I am not talking about the reduction potential, I am talking about the oxidation potential here. I wrote oxidation potential directly here. Sorry, this is reduction equation only. 
right? So if you find the oxidation potential here, this becomes minus 1.2 volt, and this is oxidation, you write this comes minus 1.96 volt. But actually, because of over potential, over potential, this is the value. Now, if you see 1.8 volt, 1.96 volt, it's almost a tie, almost a tie, right? Now, if you talk about a dilute solution, then you have more of water. Since there are more water, it is like uh, there is a state and they are almost same level of people, right? They are uh, people of category A or people of category B. Who will win? If they are of same level, now the number of people will win, right? The strength will matter. So if they are, let's suppose, out of 100, if they are 90 of A and 10 of B, obviously A will win in the fight. Assuming A and B both are of same capability, right? If I have 90 of B and 10 of A, obviously B will win in the fight. If there's a town and in town there are 100 people and they're fighting and there are two types of people, A and B only. So here also, if I am taking a dilute solution, my water concentration is more. So what I'm seeing is the energy required to oxidize water or SO4 to minus is almost same. Thus, if I have a dilute solution, then there will be more water molecule. Then in that case, reaction one will take precedence and you will get oxygen here. If it's a concentrated solution, then you have more SO4 to minus ion solution because H2SO4 is a strong acid. So in that case, these people will win, assuming this is A and this is B, right? They will win and they will win in that case, you get S2O8 minus ions. Hope you understand. There's a tie here between sulfur SO4 2 minus and the water oxidation. So again, it all depends on the concentration of sulfuric acid. Now. We have to predict the product of the electrolysis in each of the following case. The first is uh, aqueous CuCl2 in platinum electrode. So I have in both cases I have CuCl2 here. First case I have platinum electrode. Second case I have copper electrode. Let's see the case one. I have platinum electrode, right? So CuCl2, that means I have Cu2 plus ions and Cl minus ion. Correct? This doubt in this, no doubt. So this is my anode and this is my cathode. Here will have negative charge, so we'll have more electrons here. Here will have positive charge. Correct? So first let's do for cathode where we have a reduction happening. So reduction, the possible option is either copper Cu2 plus ions from the solution can get reduced or water itself can get reduced. Like only two options I have. To talk about the copper ions, if I have write the equation Cu2 plus takes two electron becomes copper, this is 0.337 volt. In fact, this is a spontaneous reaction on its own, is it? Copper reduced on its own to become copper. Copper ion reduced on its own to become copper. This is a spontaneous reaction. For water to get reduced, for water to get reduced, the reaction we will write as H2O, X2 electron becomes hydrogen OH minus and here E is minus 0.83 volt. That means water needs energy to get reduced but copper plus iron itself will get reduced. It, it doesn't even need energy, right? So by default, this will get priority, correct? Because it has positive value, it has a negative value. So copper will reduce, copper iron will reduce to become copper, it will give energy. Hydrogen, water will reduce to but it will take energy, right? This is a non-spontaneous reaction, this is a spontaneous reaction, there is no, there is no questions. By default, this reaction will take precedence. So at uh, cathode, the copper deposit will happen. This is for shell. Now let's see the anode. Anode, something will get oxidized. So I have option between Cl minus ions and I have option between water. Either water can get oxidized or chlorine cannot get oxidized. So let's see this reaction chlorine 
x2 electron to becomes 2Cl minus. I wrote the reduction reaction actually in both cases, right? Let me write the oxidation reaction only. Chlorine will take two electron to becomes two chlorine, and water oxidation, water will become oxygen, and it will give four H plus and four electron. Correct. Sorry, it will give two chlorine. Yeah. Now for this, if you want, you, if you see the reduction potential, that is nothing but 1.359. That is reduction potential. And for this, it is 1.23 volt. It is minus. So since this is a reduction potential, this is also a reduction potential. Actually, I can write the oxidation potential for both. This is plus 1.23. Both are plus actually. Right? This is the reduction potential for chlorine this is the reduction potential for water. If you write the oxidation potential, both will get a negative charge. That means to oxidize the chlorine, I need 1.35 gram of uh, 1.35 volt and to oxidize water I need 1.23 volt correct but again here over potential will come into picture this is actually not 1.23 volt practically it is plus 1.8 volt that means to oxidize water I need 1.8 volt and to oxidize chlorine I need 1.35 volt correct that's what it means so I need more energy to oxidize water, less energy to oxidize chlorine. So chlorine will get oxidized and it will become chlorine gas. So here you will get chlorine gas as out. Correct. Here copper will get deposited. Cu2 plus will become copper. And here chlorine gas will uh, be will come out because there will be tough competition between chlorine gas and water molecule. Water molecule will need 1.8 volt to get oxidized and chlorine gas will need only 1.35 volt to get oxidized. Thus chlorine gas will win. Let's take the second scenario where we have copper with copper electrode. This is my copper. Again we have copper CuCl2 so we have copper plus 2 ions and we have Cl minus ion. Again here is my anode. This is my cathode. Right? First I will write for cathode by convention. So cathode will have reduction so what all possibility you have production Cu2 plus ions and water. So if you see this reaction Cu2 plus ion will take two electrons and will reduce to copper and the electron volt is 0 0.7 sorry it is 0.337 that means this much energy is liberated is a spontaneous reaction you don't even need energy this much energy is liberated. If you talk about water oxidation, sorry, reduction. If you talk about reduction of water, it will take two electrons and become hydrogen gas and OH minus. E is minus 0.83 volt. That means in this case, energy is required. Energy is required to reduce water. So the first reaction will take precedence. Why? Because it is a spontaneous reaction. You don't even need energy. Second reaction, water energy is required to reduce water. So here copper deposit will happen. Fair enough, done. Now let's talk about anode. Trick part. Anode, I have some oxidation will happen. So here for oxidation, I have one option of Cl minus gas. One option is my water. And the third option I have is my copper itself. Copper may get oxidized. Correct. So let me write the reaction for our Cl gas. This will become Cu2 plus. In fact, this will give electron actually. Plus two electron. And water will also get oxidized. It will give water, oxygen, plus 4H plus, plus 4. If you write the value, this is nothing but plus 1.23 volt. I am writing reduction potential for all. This is also plus 0.337. 
reduction potential and this chlorine Cl minus becomes Cl2 that is 1.3793 in all this case I am having oxidation but I wrote reduction potential what does this imply this implies that 0.37337 volt of electricity is required to reduce to oxidize copper 1.23 volt and actually if you add oxidation uh, over potential this becomes 1.8 volt 1.8 volt current is required to oxidize water 1.3 volt current is required to oxidize chlorine but only 0.337 volt current is required to oxidize copper thus here copper will get oxidized to copper plus nothing will be deposited right so copper will get oxidized to copper plus it will go into solution and here copper plus will become copper and thus electroplating will take place understand why chlorine or water will not get oxidized here why copper will get oxidized here because with the production values it's pretty easy to see that 0.337 volt of current is required to oxidize copper 1.8 volt is required to oxidize water and 1.39 volt is, oxidized, is required to oxidize chlorine gas. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.